Christmas Wedding Planner has one of the worst endings in any film I've ever seen. And that's really disappointing because this film was actually thoroughly enjoyable. Now, I won't mention the ending, I don't think. I might mention it at the end of this discussion, but I will give you a spoiler warning. For the rest of this, there won't be any spoilers. This film was released in 2017 and is directed by Justin G. Dyke and written by Stacey Connolly, based on the novel by, and screenplay by Keith Cooper. And the premise sounded really interesting and I was kind of really happy with it for the most part. So Kelsey is a wedding planner, except she's just doing her first Christmas wedding and she's actually planning it for her cousin. But then she meets somebody called Connor, and Connor is investigating the groom-to-be. And it's a bit of a mystery as we try and work out why he's investigating him and what the potential problem could actually be. And obviously, this being a rom-com, Kelsey spends a lot of time with Connor. Their relationship grows as the mystery grows. And normally, I'm not too bothered about wedding films. I like films like 27 Dresses. But for the most part, I'm not that much into weddings. I'm not that bothered. I don't find them really sweet. But this I thoroughly enjoyed. I thought it had a great premise. I thought it was executed quite well. The pacing was really good. We found out things at a really good pace. There were a few, I guess, mild twists. Things that I really didn't expect that did kind of shock me when it was revealed. Everything seemed to knit together really nicely. And I was really pleased with how the narrative all came together. The acting, absolutely fine. Jocelyn uh, Huden plays Kelsey. Uh, I thought she was great. Everybody in it was, you know, yeah, I have no issues with the acting at all. Visually, it's really beautiful. We have some really um, bright, crisp scenes, some gorgeous colour schemes going on here. And one thing that kind of slightly bugged me, but I got used to it, is when Kelsey writes in her phone and we hear it as a voiceover and sometimes we get her internal thoughts just randomly throughout and part of me thought well you're just finding a way to tell us something instead of showing it you're telling instead of showing and that's really bad storytelling really it should be called story showing but at the same time I thought well actually occasionally this works and it feels quite nice so I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not I like that leaning more towards didn't, but it wasn't so jarring that it ruined the film. What did ruin the film was the ending. So before I discuss that, I will say whether or not I recommend this, and actually yes, I do. I, I did thoroughly enjoy it. It's about an hour and a half. It went by really quickly. I really liked all of the characters. I really liked the music. Oh, the music was very, very good. The soundtrack was very nice. Visually, it's an absolute delight. But spoiler from now, I will spoil the ending, but I will say I just disregard the last five minutes. Because what happens, bearing in mind she's known Connor for a very, very short space of time, we're talking really days, at the very end, as I'm sure you know, but if you don't and you don't care about watching the film, then I will spoil it. At the end, Connor proposes and they get married there and then on the spot because the vicar or the priest or whoever is already there they've known each other a matter of days and they get married on the day I, I don't understand that doesn't make any sense nobody would do that it's unrealistic it's unbelievable when he proposed I was thinking well that's ludicrous but then I thought well maybe they'll get engaged and then get to know each other and then whatever but then they got married and I thought who who said that this was okay to end the film this way? It's absolutely pathetic. And I just don't understand why they ever thought that was a good idea. And I actually feel really sorry for the cast. Because they've obviously worked hard on this otherwise brilliant film. And it looks like it's getting a lot of negative reviews because of that utterly despicable ending. So I'd say stop watching it before the last five minutes because it's so horrific. It really angered me. But the rest of the film I really enjoyed. I do recommend Christmas Wedding Planner. Just, you know, pretend that it ends before it does.